Welcome back to the Sportsmax Zone. Time now to move to the smaller ball and talk some cricket with the latest from the ICC Women's T20 World Cup happening in the UAE. Two more matches contested on Friday. New Zealand defeating India by 58 runs on the back of player of the match Sophie Devine. That was recorded as an upset victory. And there was a disappointing start to the Women's T20 World Cup for the West Indies going down emphatically to South Africa by 10 wickets in their Group B opener in Dubai. And um, uh, that was a game that was uh, pretty tough for the West Indies team and they really, really struggled throughout. And uh, some batting disappointments from the captain, uh, Haley, Haley Matthews and Deandra Dottin, two key players in the team as far as batting is concerned. And because they didn't fire, it helped to contribute to the West Indies not doing very well. Let's put the graphics up now on what happened with that West Indies game so our viewers can see statistically how the game panned out with uh, South Africa. Uh, ranked one spot behind the West Indies in the world rankings, uh, defeating the West Indies by 10 wickets there. The wind is batting first, 118 for six. Not a competitive total at all, that was. Uh, Stefani Taylor with an unbeaten 44, and Nonkuleko Mlaba, four for 29, the left arm spinner was the top bowler for the South African. She bowled really well. And then Laura Fulfart and Tasman Britz with unbeaten half centuries, steering the South African women to a comfortable 10 wicket victory with 13 balls to, to spare. And uh, joining us now to assess what happened today in the West Indies opener, a disappointing one for sure, Joseph Redsperer, veteran cricket commentator based in St. Lucia. Uh, Reds, a really disappointing start today for the West Indies. Good to see Stefana Taylor battling with her injury and uh, scoring 43, 44 not out. Uh, not at a, a quick pace, but it was the kind of innings that was required given the fact that so many wickets were, were falling around her. Your thoughts uh, initially on, on what went wrong for the West Indies women today? Well, I got up at 5.30. I saw the first ball. You indicated to me that it's going to start at 6. So I alarmed my phone. And like you, like millions of Caribbean people, I was extremely disappointed. Because um, in the majority of cases, our top order batsmen found ways of getting themselves out. Um, the two fine examples of the Haley Matthews, uh, I, I mean, one must say that South Africans bowl well. It's not that they, they were, um, you know, a weak bowling attack. Um, it wasn't easy, to maybe, to get the ball away. But two examples, the dismissal of Haley Matthews, um, very key, and she knows it, very key uh, to the importance of the West Indies billing a total that she bats the, the majority um, of the overs, at least the first 12 overs, and chasing a white ball, which was totally unnecessary. Uh, you, you don't expect that from Haley Matthews, but maybe it, it's the first game, um, a, a little bit of tension, a little bit of pressure, um, you know. And then, of course, you had DeAndre Dutton, who started to settle. And Lance, you, you must have been surprised where all of a sudden she just drove that ball without getting over it, straight to cover. Uh, you know, that was um, a, a major setback. Uh, Campbell started well, but again, she misjudged the length. I'm just going through the top order. Instead of coming forward, she was trying to play back to a ball right under her, like, you know, uh, gone. And um, I think that one could say that um, Henry got a, a ball from the left arm spinner who picked up those wickets you mentioned. A good delivery just brushed the outside edge. You know, and, and we really never recovered. We nearly never recovered. Yeah, Reds, I, it was a ma match that the West Indies needed to win because of the construct of the group with England and the South Africans and the West Indies being the, 
the top seeded teams in the group. This was a critical match for the West Indies and having lost it now, their backs are against the wall to recover and we heard Hayley Matthews post-match suggesting that they've got to put that one behind them and rebound as positively as they can because there is now pressure on them to beat England which is not going to be easy. No, no, no. And it's difficult, Lance, to see a major turnaround. It's difficult, Lance, to see a major turnaround because um, this was a bad defeat uh, coming at the start of the tournament. And um, how, how do you put this right? I mean, uh, Stefani Taylor was really outstanding, using all of experience, but no one stayed with her. No one stayed with her. And if you look at the bowling, um, you know, I think they decided very early in the piece that we'll give everybody a, an opportunity except maybe two who had uh, uh, almost the, the, the full quota. But uh, there's a lot of work to be done uh, by the, the management team, by, by the coaches. Stefani Taylor is slightly uh, doubtful for Saturday game. She has to be assessed, and we'll see if um, she will be able uh, to practice and that would be a major, major loss if she can't play the next game. Yeah. At Reds, I saw a, 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 a column from you in the Nation newspaper in Barbados over the weekend questioning the fitness of, of the West Indies players, not, not just the women, but the men as well. And uh, there's been some concern, even looking at today's game, about the, the fitness levels of, of some of our players. Um, is that something you would want to point to in this discussion? Yes, I've always felt that I haven't been seeing, um, after a camp, I haven't been seeing player X, player Y looking slightly fitter, looking slightly faster, looking slightly slimmer. You know, in the Clive Loy period, there were specific instructions to Dennis Waite that X players must, in fact, cut some weight, do some special running, on a one-to-one -one with Dennis Wade. I am not seeing th this kind of details slimming down, getting fitter. We have been seeing um, a lot of players over the last um, decade carrying a lot of weight for the West Indies, and there don't seem to be a, a clear fitness um, standard th that you have to make at, at a fairly high level. And uh, we, we are not seeing people improving in this in this area just look at new zealand today lads i mean you know they, they all seem to be athletes they are brilliant in the field you know um and we we don't make that kind of cut i mean the one person who makes that kind of cut is Haley matthews and one of the reasons lance she started very very young and most of our players have started playing cricket a little later in life. Therefore, the basic fundamentals uh, is, is not in, in, in grain. And you know, you go back, Lance, to the women's CPL. If you look at that, not many of our players really stood out. And that is, is reflected again today as we got together as a West Indies team. It was all the overseas players who really stood out in the... Uh, pass um, CPL for women. And um, I, I think basically um, our standards are, are really coming to, to the top. And, you know, are we, are we good enough to be competitive in, in, in this World Cup? I think the next game w w w will answer us. Yeah. And, Reds, you know, one of the things that was so disappointing for me is when Zeta James, she got hit on her chin. And, of course, you know, she had to come off a youngster, someone that you want to see do well, you know, looking forward to see how she went about bowling on this stage. But a bit concerning, uh, Stefani Taylor, somebody also that you spoke about glowingly and her contribution today with the bat. She also, Haley was asked about an injury with regards to her. So now we have the first day of the competition for our Wendy's players, and we're talking about two possible injuries. Well, you know, Kelly, I'm not too sure they're using James properly. James is getting, you know, one over, basically one over, batting about number eight. I think as a young left-hander, she could be placed somewhere around maybe 
after uh, Henry uh, batted at number six, use her, her ability, nice technique, uh, so partnerships can be built. I don't know if you and Lance share this view, but I think that James is being wrongly placed. Yeah. Uh, Reds, with the time that we have left, uh, do you think the West Indies can at least pick up a win against Scotland? Well, you know, I'm, I'm sorry we, we didn't start against Scotland. Yeah. Um, but um, it, it's going to be really tough. We, we lost our first two openers. Uh, that wasn't a, a, a very good sign. Uh, we've got Bangladesh, we've got Scotland, we've got England. And Bangladesh will not be uh, uh, an easy an easy win for the West Indies. So it's, it's not a good start, but it's a, it's a lesson that previously we haven't brought on young players, we haven't got girls at secondary school, and we are using basically the same players except for one or two that we have used for the last decade. Mm. All right, Reds, we're going to leave it there. Let's hope the West Indies can rebound with a victory over Scotland. Will they, they need to, to have any chance of um, putting themselves in line for advancing further in this, in this tournament? And let's hope they can find their best form and, and topple England when they meet them. But we'll talk again soon, I'm sure, Reds. Thanks for talking some and cricket with can, us. They can only get better, Lance, which yes. is encouraging. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Uh, so we go to break. We'll be back with more on the Sports Smack Zone after this. Thank <laughs> you.